Coach, uh, when the schedule came out, you had to look at this three-game stretch with San Diego State, Fresno State, and Air Force and kind of circle it and know that it was going to kind of define your season, right? How does it feel to be 3-0 and coming out of that stretch? Yeah, I mean, every every game in this conference is is a battle. I mean, every week it demands your best, but um, they're, you know, week to week in this conference, you go on the road, you play at home, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's tough games, and this was a stretch. Uh, the bye week fell in a good spot right there within this stretch. I mean, we're very grateful for that. We're grateful for the, the work we, are, we were able to get last week, like we spoke about at the beginning of this week. Um, some of that stuff showed up in this game. Um, there are things that I, as we continue to build into the next week, we've got to continue to get better at. Um, but overall, just really proud of the team, the coaches, and everybody involved. I mean, this is not an easy place to come play. Uh, to play the way we did, to have the fortitude we did, to to be um, in the fight as a whole team, for the team to be backing each other up. That's what it takes to come into a place like this and, and be 1-0 uh, for Given them. Given where you were a month ago, I mean, what does it say about this team to be 4-0 in conference play right now? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, again, everything we do is for them. Everything we do is, uh, you know, from um, – a growth standpoint for them as young men, for them as students, for them as players. Everything we do, all the decisions we put in, all our efforts, um, and then they put that same effort back in, as we can see. And that's where we're really lucky. We got unbelievable young men on this team. Um, again, we we just you know everybody gets to see them on game day, um, and only what they do on the field in between the paint. But uh, we got a team that really cares about each other, that uh, you know will do things for each other. Uh, not just on the football field. Andy, when you get in a game like this, how unbelievably valuable is it to have a guy like Jonah Dalmas? Yeah, uh, when his number got called today, you know, he was on point. Um, every, the possessions are typically pretty limited um, in games like this. So every possession you're, you're on defense, you're trying to still just steal a possession, uh, get the ball back, get the ball back in the offense's hands. And then every time, I mean, it's critical that you get points on the board and uh, you get down in the red zone. Yeah, we want to be more productive down there in terms of uh, getting the ball in the end zone and things like that. But again, every week we're going against really good defenses for the last couple of weeks and, and it's a lot uh, harder to get done, you know. And, and so we'll find ways where, uh, as we've done in the open field, we'll continue to find ways that we can use our personnel down there to be more effective in terms of getting touchdowns. Look at how good your defense was all game, but there after that uh, penalty with two sevens out there for them to Lock back in and you know get the fourth down stop and keep them out of the end zone there. What's to say about your yeah ne next play mentality? And I said that's on us. That's on me. That's on me. Let's go next play mentality. And uh, we uh, that is 100 percent on me. We'll make sure that we get that squared away. But they didn't flinch. I mean they didn't flinch one bit. And again that's the way. You know each and every week there's a lot that goes into it in the preparation um, so that you can cut it loose and play off your instincts and. Um, there was a lot of work that went into this this week for that defense. Again, not just on the field, but film study. Um, it's not just this week either. It's, you know, it's spring ball. It's summertime. It's, it's uh, you know, fall camp. And then you get into the season and you see the new things they're doing with that's not even triple option that then you've got to prepare for within the week. So you got to always have your base down of what you're going to do so that uh, – um, you can adjust throughout the week of what they're actually doing, you know, that year. At what point did you know uh, George wasn't going to be able to play tonight? Next question. You mentioned the, the defense. I mean, the first quarter, I think it was 12 plays minus four yards or something. Yeah. Now, sometimes, usually, they get off to a fast start. I think they're one of the best first quarter teams right. in the country. I mean, what does it say that to get off to the fast start on defense and get the lead? Well, BJ, that was a huge emphasis. We didn't do that last year, right? We didn't start fast enough in the first quarter. And this team, you cannot get behind schedule on. Um, and that was the biggest emphasis, uh, the speed of the game, right? We always say how much faster it is from practice. You try to simulate the best we can. Um, and I'm going to give a huge shout out right now to the scout team O-line and the scout team. Obviously, you saw the players uh, on defense and the speed and how we are able to start. That's because of the young men behind the scenes that helped their brothers get ready, which was a critical factor in this game. I mean, with with no George, and it looked like Ashton was gone in the second half. Yeah. I mean, how much were you guys there tested at, at running back? And I mean, we saw Caden, Caden, Caden Dudley get a carry there. Next man up. We've been getting them ready, and um, um, you know it's football, so things come up um, in the upcoming weeks. We'll we'll uh, hopefully be back to full strength here uh, pretty soon. But 
uh, it's an opportunity. These guys train year round. They practice, they lift, and all that. And when they get their opportunity to go, uh, we got to make the most of it. And so, uh, yeah, there there definitely was a need for those guys. It seems like Elian Noah has a knack for stretching runs and finding that cutback lane. Is that kind of what makes him fit in this offensive scheme so well? Yeah, you know. Uh, um, I would say that the offense coaches and myself, we feel really good about his feel for this offense, the run game within. And I'll tell you, you know, for a guy to jump into this program as late as he is, too, he's got such a high football IQ that he's able to pick up the protections. He's played a lot of football. That's the benefit of a guy that's played a lot of football is it um, he understands protections. It's learning a new language, and that's why he's been able to have an impact. And, uh, he has a practice, not as much as, you know, in games as we saw today with the need. That's why he got to play more, but he's been a huge impact on special teams as well. Taylor, what, what, I mean, what do you think of how Taylor played? And obviously he didn't run a ton, but when you needed him there on that big third down in the last minute, he got, got what he needed. Yeah, you know what? Um, early on there, whatever that was, the second play that call, got called back, that was a big time play by him. Uh, that's what he's capable of doing, um, getting ourselves in those situations. Defenses, we got really good defensive coaches in this league. We got really good defensive players. They're not just going to let Taylor pull the ball and run like it, it. It is a lot of work to create those opportunities for Taylor, but when obviously it opens up other things. Um, uh, some of the things that we worked on in this in the bye week, you know, in the pass game, we saw him be more free in the passing game, letting it rip. Um, there were there were some. Uh, you know, even on the drive there that ended up in the uh, with the interception, those were two really good plays back to back. The guy from Air Force just made a really good uh, uh, tackle, uh, you know, on on Steph and knocked the ball out. But those were two really really good plays that uh, show um, you know his progress and where we got to keep going. You guys emphasized eyes so much coming into this game. I mean, how do you think your your defense played with their eyes? Yeah, I mean the. The discipline it takes to um, not only react when the play starts, but they're moving their formations a lot more this year. They are lining up in a lot more formations. So even within that, seeing all these different personnel, I mean, there's you know there's multiple there's extra tackles in the game. There's tight ends. There's two backs in the game moving in and out. So it's, it's getting the personnel, it's seeing formations. And then when that ball snapped, you got to be elite with your eyes and you got to be committed to doing your job over and over again for, you know, for the sake of the defense. And the guys did an unbelievable job with that today. How excited are you guys to get home? Back to back, back to back home games now. It's going to, we need, yeah, we're going to need to get back and get some rest tomorrow. Um, again, this was a really, really physical game. and. Um, we're going to enjoy uh, what we accomplished tonight. And then, uh, you know, we're, we're going to need to get our guys some good rest um, and then get ready to, to get ourselves prepared for the next opportunity. But we're going to enjoy this thing tonight because it's not easy to come here and do what we did tonight. I'm very proud of the team, very proud of the coaches. And, uh, you know, this is something we can continue to build off of. Thank you, guys.